Alrighty, Mr. Gatekeeper here. <clears throat> here I'm gonna uh, kill a couple of birds with a cup uh, with one stone, I guess you could say. And I am going to show a few Y motes in operation. And uh, just to, so the uh, customers can see they work just fine. Uh, this right here is a Y moat for uh, for Mr. Nick out there. He's gonna be running it with a uh, a uh, driver and a big box configuration so he's going to be using this with his driver amplifier and his big box so this is a dual y mote okay a dual y mote this is one option that you can go uh, with needing a setup like that to uh, control two amplifiers with one remote okay um, another way that you can do that is you can go with two single y motes for example, this right here is a single Y mote. You can go with two single Y motes and program them to one remote control. Uh, the only thing about that, which ain't a big deal, is you won't be able to, like for example, with this single, I can make A turn it on and B turn it off. Or of course you can make A turn off, B, A again turn, uh, A turn on, A again turn off. If you use one remote with two singles, you will only be able to use it like you were about to see with this, which is no difference. A turn on, A turn off, B turn on next amplifier, B turn off. So you can do it with two singles or one dual. See, it's all really all up to you. And you might already have a single already and just uh, want to take another single. And uh, I mean, you can take it pretty far. You can even take four singles and put it on one remote, as long as it's a remote with four buttons on it. So there's a lot of neat little combinations you can do with this. All right, Mr. Nick, here's your dual Y mote. You uh, asked me to put the Gatekeeper Amps logo on there. That's what I've done for you. And uh, there's the back of it. You got one fuse. All these units are fused, just in case you plug it into an amplifier that isn't wired up uh, correctly or wired up the way it should be for the Y mote. These Y motes are designed to work with your average default amplifier fat boy dave made x force gatekeeper um uh, one two three built um let's see uh what's another one um there's a few other guys out there too there's a few there, there well, most of the amplifier builders when they use the remote feature they're going to wire it up the default way meaning pin number one on the remote jack right here number one which is the tip that right there goes to your all-time power on your power bus hot bus number two right here goes to your relay okay and then this is ground that's how most of them are going to be wired the way that you can tell if it isn't wired up correctly and this is backwards you plug your Y mode in you'll notice that the LED will turn on without you even turning on the remote. That's an indication that your box is wired up backwards. And it's a real simple fix. You just open it up and inside your box you switch it. I'm going to have a tutorial on that on the website, ymote.net, once I get it up and rolling to have all that information. So anyway, let's go ahead and demonstrate this bad boy. We're going to start from completely unprogrammed which this will be programmed when i send it to you but a turns on this channel b, b turns on that channel oh, second. my power connection came loose y'all give me one moment i got alligator clips on everything over here they tend to they tend to roll off sometimes there we go all right so b turns this channel on and off a turns that channel on and off okay again a a again off b b again off all right if you want to erase your settings you go back here to the learning button which is below i'm not going to pull it up i don't want this to get unhooked again or slide off but there's a button right up under your fuse you press it in and listen for the sound.
one beep, two beeps, th three beeps. Hold it just for about five to six more seconds after that and that will erase the memory, okay? All right. The remote is not paired with the Wymote module. No more, as you can see. All right. I think you can program up to 20 remotes to each module. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can. If you wanted to buy you a backup remote just in case you lost this remote, you, you could and just program them both to the module, to the Wymote itself. I just leave mine on my keychain. All right, here's how you program your remote. First, you want to program how the buttons are going to interact. You got the first beep, the second beep, the third beep. One beep, the way the first beep is set up is you hold the button down and the Y mote turns on, the channel turns on, and you let go and it turns off. There's really no use of you doing that or unless you want to go to a shootout or something and you want to do it like that to where you do that one 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 and then let go off 10 seconds or you could even get all crafty and build a Wymote module that your radio goes into to where when you press that your radio and Wymote turns on meaning your radio and amplifiers turn on one 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 and then if your buddy next to you has the same setup, then there ain't no way y'all gonna hurt each other, you know, if you unkey at the wrong time. <clears throat> but uh, from what a wise man told me, if you're a professional, you don't need that anyway. <laughs> so anyway, that's what the first beep will set up. The second beep is what, is what we're wanting. We'll set it up to where when you press the button once it's engaged, the y mote turns on, sends power to your amplifier, relay press it again it turns off that's what we're wanting okay the third which is I really don't know what you would use that for but what the third is is you press a button okay and a channel turns on you press a button again that channel turns off the next channel turns on I don't really know of what use that is to us so we're just going to worry about two beeps let's program it two beeps All right, it's got to get past this uh, initial beep right here. All right, here's the first beep. One, one, two, release. All right, now we've got the Y mote set up on how it's going to interact with the buttons. Now we're going to pair our remote to the module itself. Press it and hold it down, the button. Once it starts to make noise, let it go. Press a button and hold it down, then press your second button. There we go. Alrighty, so now this remote is paired with the module. A turns on, A turns off. A turns on, A turns off. Alright, there you go, brother. Uh, what I'm going to do now is we're going to unhook the artificial power, as I'm saying, to, through the Y mote, and we're going to hook the Y mote up to these two amplifiers. And we're going to watch it actually turn them on and off. One second. Alrighty, we now have the module hooked up to these two amplifiers. Okay. Uh, I can't remember which channel is what. Alright, when this amplifier turns on, the fan will not turn on. I don't have the fan wired up yet. So what you'll be looking for is the light on this button. As you see, when you turn it on, that light comes on. Alright, we'll turn it off. And you'll know when this one turns on because the fan will light up blue. Alright. We'll press A first. That turns on that amplifier. We'll press B. That turns on that amplifier. Let's see if I can back up here. A turns that amplifier off. B turns that amplifier off. There you go. And you want to know how good the range is on this bad boy? Let's go ahead and see. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, let's kind of simulate the uh, right here, which is kind of far away from it. See if I can't zoom in here. On, on, off, off. Let's back up all the way over here real quick. I'm jogging, I'm jogging. On, on. They can't really view it from this this area, so we're gonna walk up to them and show you that they're on. They're both on. Let me back up here where I can just still see the LED. Okay, I can still see the LED right there. Off. Off. Good deal. So, that's <laughs> pretty good range. You can almost say like you could be coming out of your house and go ahead and have your amplifiers turned on before you hit the car. And for all you guys that are really, really needing some good range, you'll upgrade to this bad boy right here. <laughs> this bad boy is capable of doing 1,000 to 2,000 500 meters all about the terrain and all that in there so i really don't know why you'd need that much range but for all you guys that do you can get this remote right here from me just request it upon order this is a little bit more money i hadn't made a price up for it yet all right well that's that y moat i'm going to go ahead and quickly uh go through these other ones real quick Let's go ahead and we'll get all this unhooked. I'm going to hook this bad boy up next. I want to demonstrate this and we'll be right back. All right, I'm going to have to go ahead and light up a celebration SIG for this one. There we go. This is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Mud Dick. I mean Mud Duck. Mr. 409 Mud Duck. Yeah, because this was his idea. Hey, I'm, I'm not the man to take somebody's uh, ideas and act like they're my own. I'm going to give him credit when somebody has the idea. He had the idea because he heard me say one time that I was talking to a fellow, and he said, I like the Y-Mode idea. I like that idea of being able to turn my amplifiers on and off remotely or, or be able to turn different functions of my amplifier on and off remotely. But I don't really like the idea of having to keep up with a A remote control and I, t I told him well bud you can just clip it right on your keychain and you know he was like well yeah that's cool but i'm an old school guy i've been shooting out for 25 years i just like to lean over and flip a switch and i said well i understand and i just kind of left it at that but he was listening to the conversation and then he was like why can't you set it up to flip a switch you know and then that's when I kind of said, well, I guess we could for them guys that want switches instead of carrying around the remote control. So that's what happened here. So basically, all that's done here is the remote control itself. I took the circuit board out of the remote control itself. Okay, doubled up on the batteries inside here. So now it's got two two batteries instead of one to just kind of help with the length of time that before the battery itself goes dead and uh, basically just done a simple modification to it and instead of having this remote right here this is the remote that came with it with this uh, particular module I got in here so instead of having this remote I took this remote and I turned it into this and just matched it with the same color as the wine moat. And there you go. <laughs> so that's pretty neat. And you don't have to have a push button like this. That's just what he requested. He likes these buttons right here. And uh, you could, uh, but I'll tell you one thing. You really don't want to 
have a switch that you just flip on and leave on and I'll tell you why the way these are set up the, the, the remote itself is designed to you press a button and let go of it and it turns on for it to work with a switch that you flip on you would have to change the toggle configuration to channel uh, one one beep to where you hold the button down you know what I'm saying and then let go and then it turns back off so when you flip up a switch that would that would uh, be constantly sending the signal to the Wymote leaving it on and then you flip it back off and it turns off the only problem I have with that is one wearing down the batteries in here because when you flip it on the, the remote itself is constantly sing, sending a signal as far as I know I haven't had time to to test that out yet with a frequency counter I'm going to check it out so there is still a chance that we might still be able to do do it with just a switch you flip up and then they flip it back down you're done but the next issue I'm worried about if it is sending a signal constantly of it interfering with your amplifiers actual RF the reason why the RF doesn't mess with these Y motes right now is the only time it's sending RF is when you turn it on and it just sends a little bit of RF uh, 433 or 315 megahertz to the module itself and turns it back off you see what I'm saying and, and, and when you turn it back off that's the only two times that's why the RF is not messed with the Y mode itself I got a ferrite beaded real good too just in case I extended the remote uh, excuse me extended the antenna out the box that's what this wire is right here the only time I do the only reason I've done that is the remote itself is in a metal box now so it kind of took away from the range so I've done that to kind of help with the range of the uh, of, of the remote now since it's in this box so there you go it's really neat all right I don't have much more time plus my phone's about to die so I'm just going to zoom through these other ones. Be right back. All right, here's the next one. This is designed for a, a buddy of mine that's uh, going to be using this with a pretty big amplifier. I think it's a uh, 12 or 16 pill amplifier. I made sure to use real thick wire, even though this is only going to be hooked up just a f two feet or so from the amplifier itself. I still just wanted to use real thick wire just to make sure them fans do not slow down. Okay, here's his remote. On, off, on, off, on, off, on, off, on, off. Alrighty. So there's that one. Whew, I'm out of breath. The reason I'm out of breath is I paired this, uh, this powerful, way more powerful remote here to this uh, Y remote right here. And I ran all the way to the edge of our property back here, to the tall grass out there. If you see where the tall grass is. And it's coming on and off with no problems. So this thing works really well. So I went ahead and paired this to this. And uh, this remote's paired as well. But uh, I'm going to be nice to them and just send this bad boy right here with it. 